my fellow Americans, and the people who brought me the dance, Delawareans. The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory, a victory for we the people. We've won with the most votes ever cast on presidential ticket in the history of the nation. 74 million. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify. Who, who doesn't see red states and blue states, only sees the United States. And I'll have the honor of serving with a fantastic vice president you just heard from Kamala Harris, who makes history as the first woman, first black woman, the first woman from South Asian descent, the first daughter of an immigrant ever elected in this country. But for all those of you who voted for President Trump, I understand the disappointment tonight. I've lost a couple times myself, but now let's give each other a chance. It's time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as our enemies. They are not our enemies, they are Americans. They are Americans. On Monday, I will name a group of leading scientists and experts as transition advisors to help take the Biden-Harris COVID plan and convert it into an action blueprint that will start on January the 20th, 2021. I'm a proud Democrat, but I will govern as an American president. I'll work as hard for those who didn't vote for me as those who did. Let this grim era of demonization in America began to end here and now. And now together, on eagle's wings, we embark on the work that God and history have called upon us to do with full hearts and steady hands, with faith in America and in each other, with love of country, a thirst for justice. Let us be the nation that we know we can be. Spread the faith. God love you all. May God bless America and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.